Good morning. It's been a long, long time since I had a Hagar hangout, but we're about to remedy that issue, all right? So today we got um, a bimbo here. See, bimbo right there. Um, and this is me trying different foods. And this apparently is Mexican bread, a traditional bread. And, <coughs> and I, I was curious, I, I picked it up for a dollar and it was two and a half pounds and we'll see what's inside. Boom. Alrighty. It looks like licorice and sugar. Uh, it does say sweet bread, uh, baked good. So it looks sugary. Yeah, that's about right. And you get three babies. I don't know. They are made in Mexico. Um, they are plastic. Okay. Anyone here who has Mexican heritage, can someone explain why we randomly get babies with, um, with bread? Random, but okay. Yeah, like I said, I paid a dollar for this roll or loaf or whatever you want to call, call this. And w I got a comment uh, from a fellow um, subscriber stating, Hey, you ought to try some foreign food that's not Russian and not um, stuff that you're very familiar with. And if anything, I am very unfamiliar with Mexican food. And since I am literally a few miles away from Mexico, um, why one time? Okay. I cut off a portion. Looks like a tree stump. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. Let's give it a try. Okay. It's fairly dense, but it definitely is sweet. So if you're a diabetic, I won't recommend it. What's the nutrition facts? It says there are 23 servings here, and each serving has 120 grams of sodium and 13 grams of sugars. Three grams of protein, apparently. Okay. So I tried this end. Now I'm going to try this end. It's bread. Now I'm going to try this licorice thing. Looks like a candy worm. The licorice is okay, but I personally like bread to be bread, not candy. Um, I have no idea how, how, how much a roll is. Um, but I would say if, if, if you could pick this up for a buck or two, I, I, I think it's to totally worth it. I'm curious. I'm willing to learn new uh, co uh, cultural uh, context. Let's see what the bottom of the box looks like. All right, here's your bimbo right here. Yeah, so I cut it right. You're supposed to have the top and a gummy and the bread and... Um, it says, this facility is celebrated each year across the globe on January 6th. Uh, children in Mexico, Spain, and other parts of Latin America uh, wait uh, yearly for 
um, these uh, presents given by those magical beings um, dwelling in, at dwelling the night. Dwindling? I can't read cursive. Um, probably during. During the night. Aside from the gifts, another traditional Mex uh, Mexican family celebrate is gathering around with their loved ones and enjoy a delicious slice of Rosca de Reyes. Its uh, shape represents the crown of a king. The garnish on top represents the jewels of the crown. All right, so so the circle is the crown. Then here's the jewels, I guess. Um, oh, garnish. Maybe they consider a candy garnish. Uh, and this this might be the crown. I don't know. Also, a uh, representation of baby Jesus can be found inside. Those who find it get uh, to be the host of a gathering with um, uh, ta tamales on February 2nd. So, you're supposed to put this inside your bread. So you can host with tamales. Comment down below if, if any of you know what tamales are. I'm curious if I should continue the series on trying new new foods from around the world. Uh, something as uh, uh, I'm even considering, since I did get a new, new job, I'm even considering on trying a different restaurant each week. But I will see how things work out before I go ahead and do that. Am I going to be a top foodie? No, no, no. But let's see how, how this goes. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.